maiden voyage. There's Mokai Voyager over there. And uh, we're just sitting still on the river here idling, waiting for everybody to catch up. Let's see about putting the camera up here somehow. Oh, maybe I'll have to hold it. Feel the power, the acceleration. Fun. Look the people on the Bridger videotaping too. There's no guys everywhere out here. Look at that, the screaming speed of 5 horsepower. If you get up here far enough, there'll be beer. Yeah. Look for, when you're looking in the river here for a place to go, look for where it, there's less current, like out here on the edge. Yeah, on that edge. you're on mid-channel, you're going nowhere. You get out here in the worlds, and now you can go upstream. I've shown we're going about five miles an hour upstream. Yeah, I wasn't. And I got, like... That's why I showed up 20 minutes later. Just flat. On flat lake. Coming in. Coming in. Captain, she'll take no more. Ready to go up? I'm already up there. We were going along back there when we were all next to each other. I don't know if you guys noticed, but a turtle passed us. Going up river. On his back. We need about a hundred horse. Let's set the cruise control on here. Just a little um. I think Mike might be giving Kurt a hand job. It's hard to tell. They're definitely jerking on top. There we go. I can see the rocks coming out the pump now. All right, we'll turn this off and find something more exciting, like the next set of rapids. Awesome! Finally, we got us a drift boat up here. Oh, 
Oh my god, look at that bald eagle. Let me zoom in on it. That is freaking awesome. I just did a photo of it. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. Huge. God, I hope it's getting a good shot of that. He's big. I think he thinks Mike Sasquatch with all that hair. Look at that. That's phenomenal. That is so cool. Let me get the camera steady. Oh, times like this one, I wish I had a better zoom. Alright, I'm going to turn it off and we'll look for the next exciting thing. Looks like we're going in. Holy smokes, it's going to be awesome. Kurt's first time in the Mokai. Want to go? There you go, you got her. Keep her up on the edge. Don't hit that tree! I'm just going to come around here. I'm not even going to pull my R out. Oh, that's really going. You know, nobody fishes in here. This is just boat land. That was cool. <laughs> that was worth the price of admission. Oh, there's a big old stump underneath me. Giant log. Logs everywhere. Is there an outlet? All right, I'll grab the chainsaw. Okay, I gotta pull the camera off. I don't know if I can drive down shore. Oh, Kurt's the ground. Let me give him a hand. These knuckleheads are leaving me behind. Apparently, I didn't qualify for the group race. Finally got over here into the shallow water where there's no current. And I'm making some time. But I'm in about six inches of water. So hopefully it doesn't cost me a pump. Oh, we're hitting the ground. Moving to deeper water. There we go. Dusky card in 10,000 years. I'd like to make a note that it was a beautiful day to be out in the boat. So it must have been a good day to die. Water, beautiful player. Oh, there's some current here. That bobber I lost. Oh, we got a local.
log. Well, there's a log jam behind me at the engine plant. Found a little place to run into. I love it. I see an oar out. Either he's beating a Bigfoot over the head over there. Oh, he's running around. But he can row. Shut this off till we get a little organization here. Maybe. Okay, we're way up the Skagit River now. The river's running pretty hard. You gotta run next to the shoreline if you wanna keep moving. I think I'm gonna pull up on the next beach, take a look at my wear ring. These guys are moving ahead of me too quickly. I'm pretty sure I've. Uh, on the standard three or four hours to place the uh, flare ring. I get home, I'll be working on my aluminum flare ring with the rubber center in it. side channel of the river right now. I think Mike's going to just dunk his head in and pull out a salmon. Grab it by his feet. La 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 la. Alright, 
up and they shut this off. Oh, it's a release station. I'm going to turn this off and land. Yeah, we just changed the letter plate on it. And yeah, I'm not knowing the difference, would I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like this is an 09 and, and this is an 07. I'm going to get way back on this camera to get a good shot. I'll walk across the river. We're within about 20 miles of the Canadian border now. We might try to make a run for it across. You never know what border patrol's up to. They'll never take us alive. Oh, God, the blue one's a good looking boat, too. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. This little stream right here that ties all this back together is deep. Alright, well, it's time to put a new wear ring in. Because I'm tired of being out in the back. We'll get home and we'll figure out how to put an APU turbine in here with about 30 horse. Got a few bit wares in here already, but reach in there and get any rocks out that you can see. Did you read the warning there? Because it says you shouldn't do that while I'm pulling the handle. <laughs> Actually, that would be safe. There's nothing in there right now. I feel anything? It's giving birth. No, you might not have any in there. I thought a few were rocking there. Oh well. Or is it all the way forward? It could be. This reminds so me of this girl I used to know. Screwdriver and do it and bring it back. But if you feel in here, I can look back here and look through the grave. My jet over there. This is all ported in here. Where this lip is, where it goes down to the grate. That's been all rounded off. I oh. took the slots and took a flat uh, round file and made it so that it would scoop Deep water up inside the, the belly of the let beast. The water flow without coming over a right angle. Yeah, there's no the rocks ship. in there. Huh. All right, no rocks. No big deal. But you had a lot in the grade, and you can see that you're getting a little bit that one of them's got through. We need a drum with screen on it that just continuously runs around. And you got a so couple big dings in the in color. Yeah, that was already oh, we'll, there. We'll fix that. All those yeah. were there, I think. Look at that hot with the torch in. Bring some love back in it, but besides that, that one's here. bent. That one's bent. That one's tweaked a little. So you got three. And you're still faster than me. You know, I think I'm running out of fuel. No. No, no. As of as of starving the in motor. Oh no, they just don't have any power. Is that what it is? No, because yeah. I'll be high RPM, then it just kind of gradually mellows out. Are you sure your handle's not rotating back? I have it full throttle. Mm. And uh, when you feel that mellow out, I think is when you actually come up all the way on the cam, as it be. And the boat finally just mellows out, and then you just feel that. Ooh, it, I do have that that same type of deal. Is, it's pulling them. These Instead guys are coming up river too. How can that be? Say cavitating the pump. It's actually hooked up, yeah. and, and you're pulling hard. You know, it's they're like not in a, a polyethylene you know, jet boat. You're not doing maximum RPM. How is that possible? Are we zooming all the way? Your speed looks really good. I mean, you're not that much down from the new boat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looked really good to me too. I was going to throw a rope on the back. You can when you shove it in so that you don't pick up any dirt or gravel and jam it into your bearing. Okay. You know, it doesn't have to be exact, but some people, you know, yeah. they're going to tear up the, the, the seal in there. You got lucky the thing popped right in there. So we're about 60 miles from the center of the North Pole. A little glacier thing here doing some maintenance. About 2,500 miles from the next village. Rocks out of yours yet? Yeah. No, I'm about to do it. And you're straight here, a little bit off. Yeah. Gonna take your schlong and throw it up there, see you. Oh, then it'd be curved. About there. That looks straight. Because okay. if it's not, it, it makes you turn all the time. Oh, okay. And then just to hook it on, you gotta pull that forward and then hook it on the ball. La 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 la. Little lock type thing. Sweet. And then my stops that I put on are a plastic spacer that go back here that keep that cable from getting pushed in too far on both ends. Huh. Awesome. Bring your screwdriver over. Okay. Do yours and do mine too. It looks like you got to go out and around. Yeah. I think we can make it right through there, don't you? That's really deep right there. 
That's about take them right through right on that edge there if you come right in on it. I can go give it a try. That's about three feet deep right there. Yeah, but that right there. You can't go there because that's only a foot deep. Oh. You've got to catch where it comes together and pushes the water. Yeah, out. it's probably. Oh, more rafters up here. Yeah, I'll leak here real quick. All right, take a leak and then we'll do my jet pump. Yep, we're getting done here. Let's give you a GPS and we'll see what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, we're going to tip her on up. That's my toolbox. We're okay there. Got under there. A little more rocks than me, but not much. But if he's got more, he's got big problems. No, beer rocks, maybe. I cannot believe this has told me up. Two. Let's take that grate off and get it out of the way. <laughs> um, you want to buy an impeller next week, then. <laughs> I'd, rather go, I'd rather go fast. Okay, we are all clear. I gotta get a tap. Clear to the outside edge? Yep, that looks good. It, it tends to on that outside edge. Oh, right here. The hip hook in that back corner there quite a bit. That's one of the areas that I relieved it too, so that instead of having an eighth inch wide around the grate, I relieved it so I had a quarter inch to get ah. a little more water up into, the, into oh. the grate at one time. That's the boat that I had up to 12 miles an hour with the stock engine and everything. With all that porting and stuff done on the, on the jet. Huh. I removed the bung that is sticking out here because I was looking at the boat going down there and you can see that it was deflecting off that bung and causing the jet stream to deflect off to the left hand side. What's the what's the bung actually? This the is for the clamp. suction. This is your pressure, that's your suction for yeah. a, a cooling system. For my own bung? Yeah. Okay. Feeling it. You feel it. Clear it. Oh. Feel it. Okay. That was real oh, fun. Oh, we already pulled the jet that, pump out and the ring is blah out. blah yeah. blah. Yeah. Could be replaced, but not quite ready. Ooh, another rafting crew here. Fun. All right, this is getting boring. So, but at, until then, you can start modifying them. You can make them a slot, put them in a mill, make them probably a sixteenth of an inch wider. And look how much more Should I put it in the vise and use a hand file? Vise and a hand file is what I use. And then shape them. I got a lot better in there. Oh yeah, you're sinking. I've got. There's a green sponge right inside my boat right there. I didn't bring mine. Oh, I got mine right here. That's a good idea. I mean, who doesn't bring a sponge in a boat? I got a towel in it. Towel with me. Good idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. You can tie that off to you somewhere so that it doesn't get lost. Jet drive, isn't it? What's that? All this water's coming from the jet drive? No, no it's spray coming in, or it was already there. You put drain plugs right back here. Yeah, but this thing's been under, out of water for quite a while. You're Back sinking. You're definitely sinking. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where it came from. Every time I go out, I have water in mine. Yeah, you're not you're not just uh, submarining on us. Ladies and gentlemen, this will probably be the last time we see Kurt. Yeah, I don't think I'll be coming back. Uh -uh. Neither will these people, and they don't even know it yet. All right, we're going 2.4 miles an hour. My max speed up rivers in 7.1. Actually, we only went about 100 feet. Uh, but we are 2.4 in the current. I'll set this down when we can uh, make some more magic. I'm at 3.1 miles an hour against the current, so the river runs fast. We got some more drifters up here. Long Look at this long hair in front of us. Luckily we're out here with the Department of Navy. God, it is beautiful around here. Let me zoom out.
pulling my speed by getting on the near side of the turn. I think I'm dropping turn. Got some local fast wash owners up there. Turn this back on if we run into anything. All right, I'm pinned wide open on the river at 1.9, 1.6 miles an hour. Everybody's got at least a mile an hour on me. Well, it's not very uninviting if the engine quits. Well, we're creeping along. I see I need to take my stock fuel tank out and make a new aluminum one that's at least twice as big. Because the old eight hour, six hour range is a bogus BS number. I'm pretty sure I'm at a half a tank. And I was thinking I should be on my first three quarters of a gallon. All right, we're breaking free of the river at two and a half. I can feel the acceleration as I press back into my seat. Thank God if I break down, there's a winder right here. spectacular in here. We just went over a whole area of uh, 
fish bones. But, uh, looks like a date to me. This is close to Valentine's Day. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like Venice without the city. my hovercraft in here and had lunch before. So I know it doesn't go all the way through unless you have a hovercraft at the other end and then you can fly over the rocks. Summertime, this area warms up because it doesn't exchange the water very well. You can see the algae on the rock. There's a couple little places. I turned into like some swimming pools. Let's see if we can catch up to the twins. <coughs> Look at that dead fish. A lot of salmon spawning back here. I assume. Okay. <coughs> Look at all the fish bones. Yeah. Sasquatch must swim here. faster than I was going up the river. Oh, there must be a house up there. A ladder. Oh, he pulls a little crazy Ivan on me. Alright, I'll shut this off when we're somewhere else. Or until we're somewhere else. There's Kurt over there crying. I think I'm running out of gas. That's just asking me. The carb's starving for fuel. Please. Well, the speed slows down. That's nice. Stock engine unless you're on a lake. 
just doesn't seem to be the safe way to go. We need at least twice as much power out here. It really is fabulous out here. We're almost to the snow line. I find that my rubber gloves work a lot better. Hold on. We're slowing down. One nice thing about being up here is the river's like this until you can't go any farther. There's a big bridge around the corner down the ways. And then we start coming into houses. If I remember right, we just went through part of the National Forest. And I think we go through it again. And they're off. Let's take Kurt right out. It's bumper boats. <laughs> We need paintball machine guns! my hands a certified stabilized gyro. Let's see what I can do with a scalpel. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the old pump cut there. I love these houses over here. How neat is that? Staircase down to the water. A little Led Zeppelin. What is it? Big boy staircase. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I think we've got a log jumper right here. Well, we've got a jumper. Awesome. That was spectacular. We've got another jumper. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. Start a hall repair business soon. La, 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 la. Oh, it's like back and off. That cabin's for sale. Hey, holy shit, I gotta turn this off. We're like in the real water now. What happened there? There's some very pretty landscape up here. need a windshield bigger than this one. This is perfect. Two knuckleheads out there building tall windshields. What the hell for? I got two and a half foot surf yesterday on the bay with 20 mile an hour winds. And my hat barely got wet. My pants on the other hand because I didn't have a spray shirt on. Oh. Got soaked. Oh, no, touch 
Deutsche. It looks like Sasquatch. entitlement you get when you buy water from some property. Usually you take it away with a gallon of gas. You're on your house or in the boat guy. I mean probably have to leave jet boat. How many five gallon gas cans does it take to build a boat guy? Got some hydroponic grass growing on the log. Deep water, it's moving fast over here. The engine splits, I'll just roll over. And the cold water will cost you to gas, but I'll ingest some water and it'll be over fairly quickly. Challenging move. Look at that. Never touches the windshield. Oh, this is getting trickier. I think we can do it. We're going to have to go in close. Got it. I would have hit every one of these branches I've gone over. I'd like to note that I haven't hit any. And if I had a taller windshield, I would have smacked every one of them. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Take your arm through. And it's a thing. Oh, didn't even touch it. That's awesome. I'm going to buy a house up here. Down a little lean to in here. How much fun is that? They jump over on the shore. That's pretty neat. It's very Gilligan's Island. Let's jump over to the shore and speed up. 2.2 miles an hour. And we'll drop in over here. And I thought we'd accelerate a little bit. Yeah, there's two six. Three two, there we go. Three three.
So I'll probably just jump out of the boat car and leave it running right now and swim up there so I can get there today. Come on, baby, let's go! Luckily we get to go really fast on the way back. It looks like the weather's gonna go all the way here pretty quick. The temperature sure dropped with all the elevation we picked up. It's cold out. Thank you, sir. Check the oil and get the windows for me. Sure. Yeah. Oh, you can tell the snow is here. Oh, I'm freezing. It's getting <laughs> chilly. Yeah, let's turn this camera off. I don't know if you can see it, but we're doing 14 and a half miles an hour. But the river's actually downhill. I mean, steep downhill. It levels out in a few places, but there's a pretty good rust going on. It's like a 10 mile an hour turn in there. Oh, we made it back. Oh, heck. Hey, pull out there and shoot the video of me. Is it already on? Yeah, it's running. Soon that'll have four mokais on it. Oh. There's somebody I knew that lived close that had two mokais. I'd give them that rack to put on something. I just gotta throw it in the junk pile when I build the new one. Dun, dun, dun. The geo hauls it like mad. Actually, the geo hauls it really, really well. Oh, it's got lots of power. 
dun, 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 dun. hard to beat too because I'm towing that thing I think I'm getting about 37 39 miles to the gallon all right it's beautiful out here brand new cabins all right, I call that the end.